Good morning, Justin. It is the 21st of August, 2018. Today, it's my first video back. And I have this bowl of steaming shells that I'm just gonna let cool while I talk. First things first, uh, I have a punishment to do. That punishment involves this and this. So, we didn't have any cheap condoms. I thought we did, so I didn't grab any today, this morning when we were at the medical building, but apparently we don't. So we're gonna use an actual fucking condom, because Jacob is a nerd and likes to put the cheap ones over his head and blow them up like a balloon. And Remus just jumped off and drove my cats. It's fine. But this is how you put a condom on. Um, a banana. <laughs> so, first off, on, on condoms, so there, there's four, obviously it's square, there are four sides, but two of the sides have rigid edges. And those are the sides that you want to tear it on. You can't really, oh, I guess you can tear that one, but like, I don't know, I always do that one because it feels like, you know, they have the, like, the tear here things. Feels like that to me. So you tear it open, and you don't want to pull it or anything, you just want to tear down like that until the condom comes out. And now condoms are rolled in a specific way. And some of them have this little tip and some of them don't. And for the ones that don't, you want to make sure that you're rolling it down in the direction that it goes down. Also for the ones that don't, you want to pinch the top of it to kind of like make your own little pocket. And you're going to want to pinch it either way, but it's more important on the ones that don't already have it. So, like to make sure that there's a little bit of room to catch the semen at the end. So, you're going to want to take the condom and you're going to want to make sure the, the, um, little pocket is sticking up and you're gonna want to take your banana or any other whatever phallic object you are using whether that's a dildo or a penis or a cucumber I don't know whatever it is you're gonna want to grab it <laughs> maybe not like this if it's a penis but you know to each their own and you're gonna want to pinch the top and make sure that you're not putting it all the way onto the tip because again this is to catch the semen at the end place your fingers on top on the tip of the banana and start rolling down. And after a minute, after a little bit, you can kinda do it two-handed. You just wanna make sure that there is a tip, at the, there's a little gap at the top. And that is how you put a condom on. Just like that. It's really actually pretty freaking easy. Now I'm going to ruin the visual demonstration and I'm going to pinch the bottom of the banana until it breaks apart. And I'm gonna peel it. And uh, gonna eat the banana. Bananas and I have an interesting relationship. Sometimes I'm like really craving one and they're like really good. And then others, even taking one bite makes me want to gag. But right now I haven't had a banana in a very long time. So it's actually pretty good. Good morning, Justin. It is the 21st of August 2018 because you messed up and you said that it was the 21st in yesterday's video but it wasn't. It was the 20th. Today, the 21st of August. Well, it's on the 21st of August. I feel like something is on the 21st of August. I don't know. Whatever. But today, it's my first video back and I have this bowl of steaming shells that I'm just going to let cool while I talk. First things first. Um, I have a punishment to do. That punishment involves this and this. So we didn't have any cheap condoms. I thought we did, so I didn't grab any today this morning when we were at the medical building, but apparently we don't. So we're gonna use an actual fucking condom because Jacob is a nerd and likes to put the cheap ones over his head and blow them up like a balloon. And Remus just jumped off and drove my cats. It's fine. But this is how you put a condom on um, a banana. <laughs> so first off, on on condoms, so there there's four. Obviously, it's square. There are four sides, but two of the sides have rigid edges, and those are the sides that you want to tear it on. You can't really. Oh, I guess you can tear that one, but like I don't know. I always do that one because it feels like you know they have the like the tear here things. Feels like that to me. So you tear it open, and you don't want to pull it or anything. You just want to tear down like that until the condom comes out. And now condoms 
um, are rolled in a specific way. And some of them have this little tip and some of them don't. And for the ones that don't, you want to make sure that you're rolling it down in the direction that it goes down. And for the ones that, also for the ones that don't, you want to pinch the top of it to kind of like make your own little pocket. And you're going to want to pinch it either way, but it's more important on the ones that don't already have it. So, like to make sure that there's a little bit of room to catch the semen at the end. So, you're going to want to take the condom and you're going to want to make sure the, the um, little pocket is sticking up. And you're going to want to take your banana or any other whatever phallic object you are using, whether that's a dildo or a penis or a cucumber, I don't know, whatever it is, you're gonna wanna grab it. <laughs> Maybe not like this if it's a penis, but you know, to each their own. And you're gonna wanna put the, um, t the tip onto the banana and you're gonna wanna pinch the top and make sure that you're not putting it all the way onto the tip because again, this is to catch the semen at the end. So you want to have a little bit, you want to pinch it and just put your fingers on top of the banana. And then on so you're going to want to pinch your fingers and put the top, your, place your fingers on top, on the tip of the banana and start rolling down. And after a minute, after a little bit, you can kind of do it two handed. You just want to make sure that there is a tip at the, there's a little gap at the top. And that is how you put a condom on. Just like that. It's really actually pretty freaking easy. But there you go. Now, I'm going to do the second half of my um, punishment. So I'm going to take this off. There are a couple ways to do that. Um, I don't know. It's bananas, so I'm not going to be too particular about it. You usually want to make it so that, you know, the, the semen stays in there and then you tie it up and then you throw it away. So, but now I'm going to ruin the visual demonstration and I'm going to pinch the bottom of the banana until it breaks apart and I'm going to peel it and uh, I'm going to eat the banana. Bananas and I have an interesting relationship. Sometimes I'm like really craving one and they're like really good. And then others, even taking one bite makes me want to gag. But right now I haven't had a banana in a very long time. So it's actually pretty good. <sighs> so I mentioned, as I was talking about condoms, um, that I was at the medical building earlier. And that is because my lovely, wonderful husband has hurt his ankle really badly. So last Wednesday, Tiakim had PT in the morning and they were playing football and it was like 5.30 in the morning and he was jumping up to grab the ball, to catch the ball and somebody else jumped up at the same time and he ended up like going onto Tiakim's back and Tiakim was only expecting it to catch himself so he was only going to land on one foot. And so he landed on that foot and it like, slammed on the ground. He's now holding two bodies instead of the one that he was expecting. And he landed on the ground and his like leg went forward. And he didn't like twist it this way or that way. It just kind of went forward and it ended up really hurting. So he stopped playing and the swelling was awful. Like his ankle bone just didn't exist. Like it was just a straight line from his calf to his um to his, the heel of his foot. Like there was no ankle bone. It was just gone. It was enveloped in swollenness. He didn't end up going to medical that day because he thought it was just a twist, but then the next morning he did and they really didn't really give him anything. They gave him um, light duty so he won't be doing PT and he like can't run and stuff like that. And he, they gave him um, naproxen and Tylenol and that was it <laughs> they didn't x-ray him they didn't like give him an appointment for an x-ray like none of that they just sent him on his way and said come back in two weeks if it's not better so it's been a week today is Tuesday he heard it on Wednesday last week the swelling has gone down quite a bit but everything else is getting worse the pain is getting worse the pain is getting more broad like it's no longer in one area it's just generalized pain 
and now that the swelling has gone down it started bruising apparently my camera decided to just stop filming after that so that's fun um but he did get an x-ray today and we haven't heard anything back about it yet but the pain is still getting worse and it's been a really fun time trying to deal with it so um i will go more in detail about the rest of the story on another day um when i'm actually filming but yeah, until then, Justin, I will see you tomorrow.